So here's what you gotta know. One, squaring something cancels out a square root, or vice versa. They're opposites of each other. So for instance, let's say I had a square root of x, and I square that. Then that would just equal whatever's inside. It cancels each other out. So it would just equal x. Vice versa, if I have x squared, and I square root that, Again, the square root and square cancels each other out, so it's just whatever's inside. It will just be x. So that's your main go-to. The second thing you gotta know is just how to solve one variable equations, which you should already know. And then the last major tip, try to have the square root by itself on one side of the equal sign. Let's see what the heck I'm talking about on the next slide. Let's go with this. First thing you wanna check always is I need to have the square root by itself on one side of the equal sign, which it already is. So we go back to that one rule that your algebra teacher said, whatever you do on one side, you do onto the other. You are allowed to square one side of the equal sign as long as you square everything in parentheses, but you also have to do it on the other side. So what's the point of that? Well, if I have a square root and a square right here, they just end up canceling each other out. So it ends up being whatever's inside without the square root. They cancel each other out. And then I square the other side, I get nine. So just do your thing, subtract one on both sides. Um, now I got four X equals eight divided by four. And now I get my answer, X equals two. So let's go over something a little more difficult. Let's go back to the main goal. I need to have this part, the square root and whatever's inside it all by itself in order for me to move forward from this. So now I, that means I gotta get rid of this three and this negative seven. Let's just pretend like it's a normal equation. So this usually goes first, the pluses and minus. Minus seven, how do you get rid of that? Well, all you have to do is add seven, right? So we do that on both sides. And now I'm left with three times the square root of x plus two. These cancel off equals 12. All right, let's move forward from there. The square root and whatever's inside of it is still not by itself. I still have this three, but I know that that three is multiplication right here. So how do you undo multiplication? You just divide, right? So we could divide by three on both sides, and I end up getting square root of x plus two equals 12 divided by three, which is four. All right, let's keep rolling. So now that we have the square root actually by itself, then we can apply the opposite of square rooting, which is squaring. So what will that do once again? It will just cancel out that square root and all you're gonna be left with is whatever's inside, x plus two. And don't forget to square this four because I forgot to do that before too. Four squared is 16. Now I'm on a, a one-step equation, super easy from there. Solve for x, subtract two on both sides, and you got your answer, which is 14. All right, if you look at this, now it looks confusing but technically the square roots are by itself, but this time they're on both sides of the equal sign. I got one right here and one right here. Nothing, no other terms um, outside of it, so that's kind of nice. You can even square both sides. If they have square roots on both sides, just square both sides, and both of those square root symbols will cancel out. So what are you left with? You're left with whatever's inside, nine minus b equals one minus nine B. Ultimate goal, again, and I'm gonna keep repeating myself, just get rid of those square roots and try to make it into a normal equation. So now that we have this, it's just a equation with variables on both sides, and just do your thing once again. Subtract nine, try to get B by itself. One minus nine is negative eight minus nine B add a 9b to both sides, 
So now you got 8b equals negative 8 and divide it by 8 and you get your answer b equals negative 1. So let's see if you learned something from my video. I want you guys to try these two problems and not cheat. Pause the video and I will go over the answer after about a minute or two. All right, so here are the answers. I want to go over it really quick. Let's go over the first one. Again, you want to get this by itself. So you wanted to get rid of this two first. This is kind of tricky because there's no number here. But if there is no number in front of a square root and there's a negative there, it has a coefficient of one. Kind of like the other uh, algebra rules that you had in the past. So from there, once you get the square root by itself, just square both sides and it's just a normal equation from there. Hopefully you got 48. On the other side, it was similar to my third slide. Uh, even if they have square roots on both sides, as long as they're isolated and by itself, you could just square both sides and knocks out that square root. And then all you're left with is a, an equation with variables on both sides. Hopefully you got that lesson. I will make a scenario where it's more difficult and sometimes there's no solutions on these. Hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe, throw me a like, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace!